welcome to my channel. With Halloween just being around the corner, I thought it would be a good time to do five haunted places in Australia. Hope you enjoy! Beechworth Asylum, also known as Beechworth Hospital for the Insane, and Mayday Hills, a lunatic asylum. Mayday Hills Asylum was the fourth mental hospital to be built in Victoria, being one of only the three largest in Victoria. Mayday Hills Hospital closed its doors after 128 years of operation in 1995. Bone-chilling sightings, horrific smells of rotting flesh have been experienced over the years. First known as the Fremantle Lunatic Asylum, an invalid depot, it was built in 1864. It was underfunded and overcrowded as they would lock people up from suffering from simple things such as sunstroke and exhaustion. In the early 90s, patients were transferred to another location after there were several deaths. The sound of children laughing has been heard. Witnesses claim to see apparitions of a matron and a small girl. On one of the ghost tours, a 10-year-old boy was seen talking to himself. When his parents asked who he was talking to, he told them he was talking to James, who lived there. The penitentiary chapel was originally built to house the growing male convict population in Hobart Town. There were 36 solitary confinement cells beneath the chapel floors. When they stopped sending the convicts, the site became Hobart Jail for more than 100 years, with some 50,000 male convicts passing through the doors. Visitors have reported feeling overwhelming anxiousness and sad in the cells. Other visitors have said when sitting on the couch in the ivy room, they have been told to get off by an unseen voice. Many people have met a gruesome death at this World Heritage listed Tasmanian town. It was first used to house hardened criminals as a timber station in the convict days. Then later in 1996, gunman Martin Bryant massacred 35 people. There have been over 2,000 apparitions reported in the last two decades. The old Melbourne jail was built in the mid-1800s. The jail housed the most dangerous criminals alongside petty offenders, the homeless and the mentally ill. Between 1842 and when it closed in 1929, the jail was the scene of 135 hangings, one of them being Australia's most famous bushranger, Ned Kelly, whose skull was even on display until it was stolen 40 years ago. There have been a lot of rumoured hauntings among the visitors to go to the jail. 